So in this unit, we're going to look at validation. That's checking uh, field properties, make sure that a valid item is looked at. Um, so what we do is we create a normal web form with, in this case, text boxes. And then we add validation uh, controls to those. And we, in each validation, uh, we say which object we have. And wherever we put the validation control, that's uh, where the message is going to uh, occur. So let's just run this to see how it works uh, first. So we have a couple text boxes and a couple validation controls. Now when we run this, we will not see the validation controls. Let me delete some of these old ones here. Okay, so we don't see the validation controls. They're invisible over here. Um, and if we enter a, a number in the range, it doesn't pop up. But if we enter an invalid number, uh, the validation control will pop up uh, with an error message here. Same with um, if we hit uh, OK uh, and there's a required field, uh, that validation control will uh, pop up. Uh, so if we fill in this, all these fields, um, then we'll, we won't get any Oops, we have to get this still within the range. Let's see. Okay, yeah, now our validation control uh, left. Uh, one thing to note is that right now the validation control pops up just as I go in and out of this form. I don't even have to hit the, an OK button here. And we'll talk about that in just a sec. And then when I hit OK, uh, OK command click event is end, uh, executed, meaning all, everything was uh, set up correctly. So those are validation controls. Let's see how we set those up. Uh, I'm going to delete this required field validator and recreate it so you can see how it works. So, oops, let's stop my run. So I'm going to go to my toolbox. Let's just post that open for now. Uh, so we've been mainly working with the standard toolbox. I'm going to minimize that. And there's a validation toolbox here. I'm going to pull that open. Uh, let's see if I can uh, make this a little bigger so we can see these fields. So there's a number of different validators. Um, a custom validator for unique cases not covered by the other ones. A compare validator, compare uh, different fields. A range validator, that's what's being used up here to enter number 1 to 10. Uh, expression is a more regu complicated regular expression uh, validator and a required field validator. So this is the validator work I'm going to use. I'm just going to drag drag that onto the screen. I can put it wherever I want um, on my screen. So I'm just going to put it next to this required, required field. And then the error message, I'm going to put, I'm going to put some, uh, this is required. So you can customize the error message here. Then you also have to, this can be anywhere, it can be before, after, or anywhere around this, it can even be at the bottom of the screen. So we have to make sure we it knows what field uh, that is going to be validated. So there's a control to validate uh, here, and here's my text boxes. Let's just check what the name of that text box is. It is in text box 1. So I'm going to make sure I set control to validate to text box 1. So this will be displayed if uh, this isn't set correctly. Uh, same thing, uh, this was a range one. Let's just look really briefly there. The range message was typed in. Um, and then the control to validate was set to that control. Uh, one additional feature is a min and a maximum values were, were put in here also. So those are how to validate fields relatively quickly. Um, now one thing they do show is that on some older uh, browsers, what the book calls down-level browsers, um, they might not have the JavaScript functionality in here to do the validation we're doing. And to kind of demonstrate that, we can turn off what is called client scripting. So I can turn that to false. And what, uh, what will happen is that this form will still be validated, um, but it generally won't be validated until I hit OK. When I hit OK, um, this field will be validated. Okay, let's try this one more time. Um, I'm going to actually enter the required field so that that error doesn't pop up. Now, as soon as I hit this, then I uh, see the auto range is checked. But again, because JavaScript is not enabled and so that's uh, air checking won't happen until it goes to the server and back. 
but validation works either way um, whether or not you have JavaScript a modern browser or not work in both cases